Hey guys. Well, we're going to look at rational functions part two. But before we do, let's look at the parent. We talked about the parent yesterday in class. And um, what's interesting about a rational function is that rational functions have more than one parent. Yeah, believe it or not, rational functions have more than one parent. So here was the parent that we considered yesterday. And this is the graph that it looks like. Okay? Today's parent is going to look like this. Notice the difference. Yes, you saw it. We got the x as being squared in the denominator. So what does this look like? Well, first of all, let's um, examine... Um, what our special point is that we talked about yesterday. The h is found in the same place. So in this case, it's 0. The k is found in the same place. In this case, it's 0. So our special point is going to be, again, at 0, 0. So let's go ahead and put in our asymptotes. Here's our horizontal. And here's our vertical. Alrighty. Alrighty. Next. What's our A value? Our A value is 1. So we're going to go over 1 and up 1. Now let's, let's just prove that that's true. So if x is 1, if I plug 1 in here, 1 squared is 1. And 1 divided by 1 is 1. So that's right. So we're going to have our graph up here in the first quadrant. Okay. Now, the previous parent, we went left 1 and we went down 1. This parent, if we go left 1, that's going to be negative 1. If I plug a negative 1 in here, I get negative 1 squared, which is 1, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we're going to go left 1, up 1. So this parent looks like this. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So the square makes, you know, the previous parent, the graph, go up on top. So in the first and second quadrants, okay? All right, you know, basically the rest of the stuff's pretty similar to the previous um, lesson. Vertical asymptote, okay, x equals 0. And that's going to correspond to your h, your h value, your h value, which is 0. And then your horizontal asymptote, okay, y equals 0. That's going to correspond to your k value, which in this case is also 0. And obviously, domingos with vertical, x cannot be 0. And range goes with your horizontal, y cannot be 0. Okay? All right, let's look at one of these fun ones on the back, shall we? Let's get to something interesting. Let's look at number number 11. I just know that you want me to do number 11. So here we go. So first of all, check this out. We have two h values. Guess what? We have two special points. Did you hear me? Two special points. Cool, huh? All right, so the first special point right here, um, taking our h value, um, we're going to get negative 2, comma, and our k value, 0. So we're going to have a special point at negative 2, 0. Did you hear what I said? Two special points. Yes. On this side, we have a different h value. This time, it's negative 6 k value stays the same. 
So what we're going to do now is once we have found both of our special points, we're going to plot those two special points, negative 2, 0, and negative 6, 0. And we're going to draw in our asymptotes. Well, the vertical, I mean the horizontal ones, simple. Since they're both on the same horizontal line, they have the same horizontal asymptote. But guess what they have that's different? Correct. They have two vertical asymptotes. Pretty neat, huh? Yupper. Okay. So let's go ahead and write them down. So remember, vertical asymptote is associated with H. So our first H is negative 2. So X equals negative 2. Our second uh, vertical asymptote is associated with the other H. X equals negative 6. Let's get the domain out of the way. X cannot be negative 2. X cannot be negative 6. Got it? Good. Now, horizontal, remember? That's associated with the K value. Vertical is associated with the H value. Okay? So since our K value is the same, Y equals 0. Going down here to range, these are related. Y cannot be 0. All right, let's graph this puppy. This is where it gets fun. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start from one of our special points, and we're going to go to the right one, and then we're going to apply the A value. Down one. Easy peasy, right? So down here, we're going to have a curve starting along one asymptote, curving, curving along the other asymptote. Okay. Skip the middle part for right now. Go to the other one. Okay. And we're going to go left one. Okay. And because this is the denominator is squared, okay, it's going to be on the same side as this part of the graph. Okay. So, for example, if I go over one to the left, that's going to be negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Following, maybe, maybe, maybe. And negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. So we're going to be down here. Remember, if you can't remember what to do, remember, when the denominator, if we FOIL this together, the degree of the denominator is going to be 2. When the degree is 2, okay, they're going to both be going the same direction. Okay, so once we've calculated this portion, we know that this is also going to be in the same position going down. If this had been going up, then this would be going up. But since this one's going down, this one's going to be going down. Okay? Now, the middle part. Now, to calculate how this is going to go, I will tell you that if these two pieces are going down, then it's going to go up. It's going to be a U going up. Now, how do we get those points? Now, the only real way to get accurate points in here is to plug in values in for X. Okay, and then plotting those points. But so you can do that or you can use your graphing calculator 
to help you out. Okay. So I plugged it in here. We got negative 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 6. And then to get those middle points, they're going to be between the two vertical asymptotes. And you know where those vertical asymptotes are because there's an error there. There's a vertical asymptote at negative 2, and there's a vertical asymptote at negative 6. So that means that these points in the middle, these are the ones between the vertical asymptotes. So negative 3 and 1 third. So negative 3 and 1 third. Negative 4 and 2. 0.25, it's crazy, and negative 5 and 0.33, crazy. So basically what you do here is come down here, curve through these points, and then you just curve right back up. That's what that looks like. Let me show you on the calculator. Here's your two opening down. And then you got your U going up with your two vertical asymptotes on both sides. So, I hope that helps. We'll see you in class tomorrow. Go Spurs, go!